This is Salamancer, you are watching Sal TV, and I'm a little bit sick today, but it is Christmas, and I wanted to cast a Russian game. It's going to be excellent. So uh, I'm joined today by no one, and... Hello? Yes, that's actually a person, that's not just, uh, it's not just something <laughs> cute to say. Yeah, no one is uh, currently not on a team, but it looks like he's going to be forming a 6v6 team pretty soon, he does know his 6v6. Uh, we are playing a game here between Isis and Hoverhands on CP Coldfront, um, and what do you know about these guys, if anything, no one? Well, all I know is they're Russians, so it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see how they play because the Russian playstyle is famous for being aggressive. And and speaking of aggressive, right now uh, Isis Gallant has a crit Krieg, and they are popping it on GDK. Is he gonna get the medic? He does. Diego goes GDK straight GDK down there to that crits. Nicely done by them. So they've already gotten three kills, four kills now. It's just the scouts left alive. Crawl's trying to get a kill on that demo, but he just needs to back away from this. Uh, no, actually, still going for the demo and medic, and he's finished off by Mort with his shotgun. So That's we do a six see player wipe. Uh, that is a six player wipe. Diego or Diegos or whatever it is, is uh, the only man up right now for his team and, and not healing anybody, so there's a fifty percent crits advantage for Isis. Uh, it is still zero to zero, so we started a little bit, you know, into this game because we had some STB issues. I apologize for that. But it's zero to zero, and uh, Isis is kind of on a rampage right now. Looks like they may have lost the mid fight it's uh, you know early on, but they are pushing the red team hover hands back to their last point. And uh, you said you had not seen a lot of games on Cold Front, is that right? Yes, that's right. It's not being played a lot. But a little. I've seen some. Okay, okay. Um, what I will say is that a lot of times on the last point you'll actually see a heavy being used, and right now we don't see that, but uh, the Crits Krieg is already over. Diegos actually is going to have a little bit of advantage. No, he's been taken down. It is just um, uh, Atish. I don't even know how to say this guy's name, honestly. Uh, he's trying to defend the point, but that's not going to happen. Isis wins round one to bring it to 1 0 against Hoverhands. Nice. I was going to say there on that last point, they do like to uh, swap out a scout for a heavy, and they'll put him right here because there's no glass behind the point. They'll just sit him behind the point. He can walk behind that uh, pillar for cover. Let's find a demo man rollout now. We're going to watch Trox for a little bit. Uh, as I think Red won the last mid fight, and so I'm kind of expecting them to do the same. They probably had a good roll out there. Trox getting a couple hits on that scout already, and there you go. Recluse is the first man down there. Rysis has lost a scout. Trox taking some heals right now from the medic, and he's going to start sticky sniping this soldier who has taken a lot of damage. There you go. Isis losing a lot of players real fast here. Do they have a crits Krieg, though? They've got a really... Yes, they do. They're still using the crits, and they're going to bring it in right now. Uh, oh, they do take out Trox and Adish, but uh, they are not stopping the capture just yet. The medic is still alive. Diego is still up. Nobody's killing him just yet. The uh, demo playing really aggressive here, but he's going up against the scout, which is tough. Uh, there you go. Isis is probably going to win this, but where'd Diego go? Looks like he got away. If he's on the second point right now, uh, Demo and Scout have spawned. Oh yeah, they got that forward spawn because they did win Scott, the Scout, I think, is going to go for a block. Uh, and he failed. Oh well, you know what, that's okay because, whoops, there we go. Uh, I'm going to watch Diego's here. Oh wow, look at that, Rayclue's jumping straight in and taking out Atish Tozahu, or whatever that guy's name is. I can't even tell. Um, but Diego's does pop the Uber, just brings his team in there, and oh man, got taken out by some rollers. Didn't see those as he was walking across <laughs> them. Ouchies. Somebody is attacking my washing machine right now. I'm going to go ahead and blame the ferrets. It's probably them. Um, there is a back cap going on here, so it's a question of whether Isis can actually manage to get the capture or stop the capture on middle, and it looks like they have caused hover hands to run back to second to stop the back cap. There is still somebody on middle point, actually. It's got to be a... It is a soldier. Okay. And he's just, yeah. GDK just finished him off there, so Zef has been taken down and going for that cap. And now we do once again have Isis. Uh, well, they were trying to get pushing forward here, but then uh, Gallant, the medic, was finished off by Crawl. So Crawl all over the place, everywhere he needs to be right now. Uh, but there you go, Atish once again down. How many points does that guy have? Actually, and he's doing well. 6 a six y u e. I I don't know how to pronounce that name. Let's take down on medic. Oh, wow, yeah, 6 a 6 I have no clue, dude. I have no... We're, we're going to call him that Russian guy, or, or maybe just the blue soldier who is not Mort. I like that. Um, that yeah, that's tough. That we can just Russian call him Six. Soldier. Six works, too. Uh, I'm sure it's probably like standing for one of those Cyrillic characters or something like that, but uh, that's not what we're going to do. And yes, these guys are... 
Oh, Babulia. Okay, you know what? We'll go be. with that. We'll go with that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, you you said it your, yourself that these guys are really aggressive, and that's probably what we're gonna see. Um, Russian teams, I I think I'd agree with you. They just don't stop bashing heads, do they? Nope. There's no retreat in these guys. No retreat. I like it. Seems like the Battle of Stalingrad all over again. There is a <laughs> sticky trap here, but it's going to get spotted by the scout. Doesn't manage to take it out yet, but everybody's going to know about it now. Uh, looks like there was another Kritzkrieg. Zeph is down. Crawl is down. So that's a soldier and a scout. But Gallant is finished off there uh, by a rocket from Ruby. And now, with Trox pushing in and dealing crazy damage here, along with those scouts, it's pretty much... Yeah, there goes Babulia. Uh, it's pretty much going to be Red Team's point here. Hover Hands has managed to defend properly. Can they get back out and take mid, though? It's going to be tough. Looks like Isis is using a spy. They're going to try and take the Medic down. Oh, that would be interesting. Let's see. They also still have the Kritzkrieg, but Mort is dead right now. There is a Uber popped. Uh, so Mort must have jumped in there, popped the Uber. Now Recluse is getting up behind here. He's uh, he got the normal invisibility watch. Going to use it to decloak right behind this fence. He's spotted the Medic. Going to go straight for that pick. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, nobody spotted him yet. Oh, nice. Yeah, Diego's gets taken down by Babulia, actually. Babulia's finished off here. Now Recluse is just trying to hide, but uh, it's not going to happen. He is running out of cloak. Yeah, he's get taken down. Yeah, he will get taken down there. Good rocket spam there from uh, Zeph to finish him off. But they did lose Diego in all that confusion, so there's going to be a big uber advantage for Isis. Gallant has about 85% now, 90% actually, on the Crits Krieg. Once again, this guy just loves his crits, doesn't he? Allows them to push aggressively and fast. They need to stop and build. Um, yeah, and there you go. They're, they've got their demo man back up, so they are going to keep the Crits Krieg ready to go on that. Uh, right now, there's a, uh, the actually a soldier bombing in. He forces that pop really early. That's really well done there by Ruby. He's taken down, of course. Um, and now Trox actually finished off as well. Got caught out by a Crits Dicky, so that's what's going to happen. But Fire... Just the medic and soldier up. Yeah, I was going to say Fire got taken down, but that's not going to matter too much. You are right. Um, Team Isis is going to capture the middle point once again. And i got to tell you, these guys are looking like they're a fairly high level of play. Um, and they're... Uh, they're not as organized, I guess, as some of the top teams from, like, European Premier, are they? At least from what I've seen. No, these guys are pretty high up. I guess they... At least ISIS, I know about them. They're, they would be a solid Dip 1 level. Yeah, definitely would. Uh, and that's what I've been told. Ruby just got taken out, but there goes the Uber. Gallant actually really close to his Kritzkrieg, and he did manage to get away from there. So that was a good play by him. Uh, the reason I say not organized as well is because all this aggression that they're, that they're sending in... It just doesn't always seem like it's organized. Sometimes it seems like it's, uh, let's just go, you know, bomb somebody in there and hope for the best. But, I, I don't know, I guess they, they do have really good deathmatch, so hoping for the best. And that's why it's so hard to counter, you can never yeah. predict them. Meanwhile, Fire did bring the sniper out, but Isis has just gotten wiped out. Diego's with the last kill there on Mort. Beautiful kill with the needles, so uh, you gotta love that. I wonder how many kills this guy has. Probably just the one, but maybe more. And, uh... I guess there's a way to check that, but I would actually have to pull up the console. And nobody wants to see that. This is, uh, this is a spectator sport where the console is just a big, ugly box of text. Um, anyway, Hoverhands are trying to capture this middle point here once again. Right now it is still 0-1 to one in favor of Isis. And there's some action going on. Ruby and Zeph both got taken down there, so there are no soldiers for Hoverhands right now. It's going to be bad. Yeah, look at that. As soon as they realize there's no soldiers, both of the blue soldiers took that high ground advantage. They knew they could never get jumped up at. That was really well-coordinated play. What what class do you play, by the way, no one? I'm a demo man. You are? Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to have to ask you all kinds of demo man-related questions, such as, why do I suck so much? And, uh, Napulia <laughs> takes down Atish... I'm, 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 I don't know what to call that guy. I just don't. But he takes down a red scout there, and let's, I want to get on his camera for a little bit because he is still looks like he's playing the roaming soldier right now, um, just trying to deal some damage here on the flank, and now he's got to jump back over to uh, to catch up with both his medic. Ubers are out. Yeah, both Ubers are out. Um, it's getting flashed a little bit more here by the blue team, but they end just about at the same time, and this medic is actually in, not in a very good position here. Diego's um, not really where he wants to be. You go crawl and Trox take it down. Ooh. Yeah, Mort did a, an excellent amount of damage there. Took down two players, including the demo, which is really, really good. Uh, right now, Medic is purely pocketing a soldier here, and this could be really, really bad for them. They are going to have to back up into the high ground. Um, Babulia. 
I don't know. Okay, so he's not able to push in and really be super aggressive just yet. Maybe he has to go get some ammo. It looks like he was what he was jumping away from. Um, both teams are about even on their Ubers right now, and I do think that both teams are running a regular Uber. Yeah, Gallant has swapped out to regular, so they will be able to use that invulnerability both at the same time. By the way, uh, my stream chat right now is talking about the new uh, engineer weapons and the spy weapon and all that. Um, have you seen, like, the Pomson and the uh, spy sickle? Oh, nice force pop there. Uh, actually, so I guess I'll ask about that in a little bit, because these teams are going at each other right now. Once again, the crazy aggression showing... And there's a scout sneaking around behind here for Team Isis. Yeah, I like that. Uh, both scouts actually are in. There you go, they take down Diego's. Yeah, nice. Uh, that went really well for Isis, actually. They bombed their scouts in there after that was over, so now they can bring their heavies and their medic in. There's just not a lot that uh, that Hoverhands can really do about this. Um, but yeah, speaking of speaking of those weapons, have you seen the Pomsen? I haven't. I have no idea about the new weapons. Okay, I don't so... Really follow all that. It's an engineer pistol that uh, it takes away like 10% uber each time you hit the medic with it. It's wow. Yeah. <laughs> Watching GDK actually get a nice air pipe there on uh, that scout who was after him. That was Atish. But uh, Atish did manage to get away with his life there. And we do see that... Oh, Recluse gets taken down. So GDK, Recluse both down for ISIS right now. They have lost a couple players here. And I think... Oh, never mind. I was going to say I think that... Uh, Upper hands can push in on that, but they can't because Fire just got a beautiful headshot on Crawl. No scouts means no flank defense for Hover Hands. They really don't want to push on that. Alright, Fire is uh, still on the sniper, actually, which is going to be tougher as they push into the second point because there's not really a lot you can do. He's going to open this door here. He sees the medic, but can't get the headshot. And, uh, yeah, now, now every time he pokes that door open, he's just going to get spammed, so not... It's, it's tough as a sniper to push into this second point. Um, what do you, what do you, I guess I was going to ask what you normally do as a demo man to push in here, but you don't play on Cold Front a lot, do you? No, I've played it a couple times, but it was just on the fly thinking, no real tactics. Okay, okay. So, nothing you do, nothing that you had practiced beforehand and you were just like, yeah, I know I should no. go here. Well, let's see, let's see what happens with GDK then and where he decides to go. It seems like uh, he wants to push the left-hand side. He spotted the uh, medic and soldier, and that soldier jumping up right now, but finished off by a nice pipe from GDK, and now he's going to start spamming in on top of this soldier here. Um, if he can take out the other soldier, there's going to be no protection. There you go, he does force a pop at least. Um, and actually, that's going to be a really good pop for a red team because they forced a multi uber out of blue. So uh, their you know, the red team uber actually expires a little bit later. Wow! And GDK gets pressured in there by a scout. Wow! Oh, this is not going good for ISIS at all. They're probably going to lose their medic here to the scout unless the needles can be really effective. And no, pistol to death. Crawl getting his uh, his health there and actually getting a little bit of a buff from the medic before he goes over to the other side. Anyway, Isis is going to lose the middle point here. The question is, can Hoverhands really put together a good push to to get them back in this game? Because right now there's about 13 minutes left. It's enough time to cap. But warm, I mean, I'm sorry, Cold Front, not Warm Front. Cold Front is a very long capture time sort of map where um, you got to push hard to get into second. You got to push hard to get into last. So there you go, middle captured. But actually, uh, Isis just stopped that on a dime. Wow. Wow, what was Diego's doing? He was way out of position there. His team had died. He was trying to get away. That was not good. Diego yeah, at the middle point. Oh, and yes, my voice does sound different today. Um, the stream chat is even saying that. And yes, it's because I am still sick. <laughs> what are you going to do? But I love casting my TF2, so I was not going to stop for anything. Oh. Wow. Nice aggression by Isis right now. Uh, so they, they, they are looking really, really solid. They have actually lost two players there, though. So it's four versus three right now, and you know the ISIS is going to push on that. They've still got their Uber, haven't even used it yet. They want to use it pushing into last if they can. As soon as they finish capturing this, there you go. They've stacked it up. They're trying to get forward spawns for their players, who did just now get it. So they're going to wait for their, their last right players, I think. Yeah, they're going to wait for their last players to come up, and then they should push. Oh, there they go. They actually popped a little bit early. That's... I don't know if that's going to work very well. Um, Probably playing it safe. Yikes, and there you go. As soon as the Uber fades away, Gallant is already dead. Isis is losing so many players right now because they did not push together, and that was actually a really good headshot from uh, whoever that sniper was. I don't even remember anymore because he's switched off now. I think fire. Been... Was it, it fire? fire? I think so. I think the headshot killed fire. It was from somebody else. But yeah, it was definitely a headshot on the fire. Um, 
Diego's ended up dying there, so there's not going to be an uber advantage, but uh, Hover Hands managed to recapture their second point, so that's really good for them, as they're not going to be in that danger zone of having to hold on to last, and, and you know, in danger of going down 2-0. to zero. All Right now, they've got a soldier here, that is, who is that? I thought I had him on camera, but I didn't. It is Ruby. He's going to be holding on to uh, second right now. He's got the medic on him, so he's pocketing for a little while. Going to keep that medic safe and sound. And he's spotted out the enemy combo. Decides to take a jump into him and see if he can't get some action. Um, there you go. Gallant actually finished off by some really awesome spam there from both those soldiers. So, wow. That's, uh, that's going to be really, really good for Hoverhands. Ooh. There you go, Crawl manages to take out uh, Rayclus along with some help from his friendly soldier Zeph. And then Zeph in turn taken out by fire. Smart. Yeah, that sniper, man. That sniper is crazy. And once again, the Kritzkrieg is out for Gallant. Uh, what do you think about the Kritzkrieg as a demo man? Well, I love it, of course. <laughs> Good way. Do what yeah, you think about the whole thing. You have to plan it so you don't... Uh, I'm going to say fucked over by the Uber because it's just... Yeah, you do. The game's frozen. Uh, it does look uh, like that we do have a pause, yeah, so we're going to stop recording for just a second here. The Oops. pause is, well, it was over, and it's going to be over again pretty soon, just because uh, Just because that's how it works. Like, they'll they'll unpause just for a second so a player can get back in the game. I think that's what happened. They're, they're waiting for a player um, who will be loading in very shortly, and then they will unpause and we'll continue on. So uh, Christmas time is here. I got me some new clothes, which I'm pretty happy about because I look like a slob, so I kind of need them. Um, I heard you got some new clothes as well, actually, no one, so I think that was pretty good. The clothes I'm never going to wear. Oh, yeah. Knitted sweaters. <laughs> Nothing wrong with some well-knitted sweaters. You know, wearing around the house, I guess. <laughs> we actually had a, a party here from my where I work, my company, where uh, they said, bring your ugliest Christmas sweater. We have a contest. Whoever wins the ugliest sweater gets, like, free free booze. It's pretty excellent. Oh, I could do that. <laughs> I don't even have ugly Christmas sweaters. I, like, Or if I do, they're so far buried in my, uh, my pile of clothes that I just don't know how to find them anymore. I've got one that's entirely black and another one that has a reindeer on it. So oh, reindeer. <laughs> Gotta have the reindeer sweater. Oh my god. <laughs> well, if you guys at home have pretty awesome, and by awesome I mean hideous, and by hideous I mean amazingly beautiful because your grandmother made it and you love it. If you, if you have pretty awesome sweaters at home, uh, leave a comment. And if you can, I'm not even sure if, like, hot linking is allowed in comments, but if you can, leave a link to a picture or something of your sweater, just so we can take a look at it, because, uh, you know, that would be awesome. And do leave it in the comments on the YouTube video, so I know some of you are watching this on Twitch TV, but guess what? Uh, I love me my comments on YouTube, because it, it just gives me something to read whenever I open my email. I like it. I gotta say, it's definitely, like, the one of the best rewards I've ever had from doing anything is the YouTube comments that I get are, uh, uh, you know, as compared to the rewards I get from work, where it's like, yeah, you get a lot of money, but it's not necessarily tied to, like, doing a particular thing. You just kind of do your job, they give you money, you go home, and you're like, okay, I'm done with that. Um, but with, with YouTube, more than anything and making all these casts. It's like whenever I make some kind of stupid joke or something and somebody somebody mentions it in the comments, I'm just like, yes, I made somebody laugh. And that is what I love to do. So uh, it's, it's one of my favorite things. At least you got through to one person and then you feel good about it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, all right. So uh, I am actually starting to feel like crud building up in my lungs right now. So hopefully these guys do get their game on the road pretty soon. Okay, and we're back. It looks like they finally finished that pause there. It was a nice long pause, but uh, we're back with the game now. Somebody's asking me in stream chat if I'm a brony. This is going to be the very last question I answer. The answer is no. I've never actually watched My Little Pony. I don't have anything against people who watch it, though, because apparently it's a good show, so I'm, I'm not going to take anything away from that. So, <clears throat> oh, uh, it's going to be Team Isis versus Hoverhands, and Isis, once again, holding on to the middle point. Uh, it is still 1-0 to zero here, and... I'm thinking within the next 60 seconds we might see a capture, just because that's normally when they pause the game, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Fire here is just... You're going to see what you were talking about before, crits versus uber. Both teams are going to have uh, their charge ready. It's gonna oh, be yeah, it's true. 
Call of Hand Zuba and Isis with crits. Oh, they're talking! I forgot to turn my voice off. Oh well, we get to hear some, we get to hear some Russian. <laughs> awesome. The problem is, when they talk like that, uh, it actually slows down the STV, which is not good. And there you go, that is the uh, the Uber... Oh no, it was actually dropped Diego's! Wow. What were you doing? They popped a crits, he didn't pop his Uber. What is going on? Oh, that's so bad, because ISIS should have lost that. They really should have lost that. But Diego's died, so uh, that's it. ISIS, I think, is going to win this capture. Yeah, ISIS managed to bring it to 2-0. to zero. They said pause. Apparently they were having a problem with their mumble server, and that is why they paused it. So, uh, of course, this pause is, is 90 seconds in the past. And now we're going to see uh, 9 minutes left to go here. Hover hands need to get, um, need to get two captures. And, you know, if they're having a problem with their mumble and they think somebody's DDoSing it, they probably shouldn't have just posted it on my stream. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, we do see the mid-fight once again. Isis jumping straight in after the medic here. They're going for Diego's really hard, and Diego's is down. Mort takes him out right before he dies there. It's exactly what he wanted to do, because now there's going to be a huge crits advantage, probably crits anyway, for... Yep, they've got the crits crew ready to go. They've got their... Um, their Demo man, GDK, starting to launch those crit stickies all over the place. 300 damage per sticky. Um, and now they're getting pressured in. It doesn't even matter. The medic stays alive with like 20 health there. So Isis very clearly winning that mid fight. Oh, oh they the lost goes him. down. Yeah. Well, it's tough to keep so, him alive. So it was a nice mid for GDK. So we play us down. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, there is going to be an uber advantage for Diegos, but they've got to remember here that uh, hover hands need to be even more aggressive than they've already been being because they've got to make up two points in eight minutes and that's that's a tough thing to do on CP Coldfront. Coldfront is a very very choke pointy map where it can slow down quite a lot quite easily. Let's see, um, I did just have another person from, I, I said I would stop answering stream chat questions but I'm just in that Christmas spirit right now so uh, Homestuck or TF2? If I had to choose Homestuck or TF2? That is such a good question. I, I would honestly have to go with TF2. As much as I love Homestuck, uh, I love me some TF2 even more. But there you go. Uh, Diegos has popped his Uber right now, and they did manage to take out Mort, but that's exactly what Mort wanted. Once again, he's forced the pop there early. Gallant has his crits ready to go, and here comes the crits stickies right now. Uh, Ruby's been taken down, Atish has been taken down, uh, Babuli is down as well, but there goes Trox and Diego's. Diego's actually taken down by Rayclus over here with his pistol, and he's coming in after a, a soldier as well. Soldier jumping in on minute, and nothing. Yeah, that's not going to work for him. So I think Isis is going to have this. Um, Rayclus going for the the uh, high five, and nobody wants to give it to him yet. Oh, <laughs> leaving him hanging. Let's see, uh, um, uh, my brother just asked me a question too, but I think we're going to save that one for after this VOD is over, because uh, I do like my videos to be just slightly family friendly. Anyway, Trox gets taken down there, and uh, he did manage to knock out Rayclus, but, sorry about that, Isis was pushing in there and they, they killed the demo, which is really important actually, I think they are going to get this third point, uh, this third capture. They've almost got their crits already. Yeah, here they go. They've got the crits. They're pushing in with it now. Oh, the medic goes straight down to that. And that... Oh, there goes the heavy as well from a crit pill. So that's 3-0 nice to zero for Isis. Nice. So, uh... I'm not sure there's a way Hover Hands can win this anymore. There's less than six minutes to go here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to watch the GDK roll out and just see how he looks. But uh, how do you think this game is going so far, no one? Well, it's going well for Isis. Clearly. Uh, now, when they move on to um, Obscure, which... I think they haven't already played. Uh, what do you expect to see out of the teams there? Uh, if I had to guess, then I think it'd be a more balanced battle than we're seeing here. It could be more close. Okay, and I mean, it's been close up until the last maybe 10 minutes or so, at which point Isis has just kind of pulled away. Mort gets taken down there after going for Diegos once again, and this time he didn't get him, so Diegos is still hiding around here somewhere. Uh, actually, he's on Ruby oh, right Gallon now. Popped his crit. Yep. Where's Diego? He's got 10 health left right now. He's still staying with his soldier. He's going to go grab that health kit, so he is okay for a little bit. Uh, and yeah, Gallant popped the crits a little bit early, so there is actually an Uber for Hover Hands. They could get a couple kills with this. They could try and uh, stop the capture on mid, but at this point, really, uh, they can't win the game. So uh, they're just trying to save face, I guess, and, and show they're still willing to fight a little bit. And this is actually a really weird decision here that they've just lost... Uh, 
couple players, Diegos and Ruby, both go down there because it was just the two of them against like four players. So even when you have an Uber, it's not going to work very well. Anyway, Zeph jumping up here now. It looks like he's getting into an ambush position. Um, that's a that's, it's a very common position to ambush from, so I think they're going to notice this. And yeah, there they go. He, they've oh, they took down Zeph so fast. So I think Isis is well on their way to winning this game. They've already got 100% crits once again. Let's get on the GDK cam here, because we just know there's going to be crit stickies in the future. Our control point is being captured. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. you want to. He does want to. There he goes. He's going to walk in right now. Setting the crit stickies. Misses the oh, first miss. one. Misses the second one. Oh, finally killed Trox there, but he's taken out as well. Um, and now a crit scout. That is going to be fire taking down Atish and Crawl. I love seeing crit scouts. That is hilarious. The medic's going down. Yeah, yeah, this could actually go 4-0 to zero here for Isis. Uh, and it is, in fact, looking good. This is going to push to last straight away. Yeah, you called it, man. We do have Babulia walking straight in here with the medic, already jumping towards last. Nobody's going to be able to stop him, really. There's Actually, there's a demo man up now, so they could. Oh, nice sickies onto Gallant, so there's no medic anymore for Isis. And now he's just got a sicky up. Yep. Oh, too late. Too late. That was very sneaky. It was fire with, really, fire is just on fire right now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he did a really great job there. Actually, you know who's on fire is GDK. Look at that guy's score. Holy crap. Holy crap. It's because it's of that Gritzkrieg. It's just been going constantly. What does this guy have on his sign? Stop swinging it. I want to see. Oh, it's just a Team Fortress 2 sign. Cool. Okay. I was watching uh, Ray Cruz's sign there. But yeah, GDK has been taking the crits like the entire game, getting crazy amounts of kills with that. And right now he's got like 75 points. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Does look like, uh, once again, Hover Hands kind of coming away with a little bit of a mid-fight win there, but they haven't killed the Medic just yet. It's actually Demo versus Demo here, and Trox... Uh, yeah, he's going to get him. Uh, I don't know. Wait, where is... Yeah, Gallant is dead. Okay, I'm sorry. You got it. You were calling this game better than I am, because I am terrible. Uh, <laughs> is that another pause? No, that was just Trox hanging in midair. Thank you. Oh, God, thank you. Because this map no, is almost... Two minutes there. left. Yeah, there's no reason to pause anymore. There's not really much they can do. No, but on the other hand, there is a, a uber advantage here, 100% right now, for the red team. So they are going to push in with this, and they should be able to cap. So they might bring it to 4-1, to one, at least not uh, not get shut out here. And I'm just, I, I keep muting my microphone to cough, so, you know, people don't have to hear that at home. Gallant kind of it's tries to defend the point right of his now. corpse. Yeah, and there you go. The uber just now fades, and that's going to be yep. it. 4-1. Four four to one. One. That's probably going to be the final score. So four to one here between Isis and Gallant. Um, no one. Who is your man of the match? I'm gonna to have to go with GDK. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at the scores, Sweet. I think I will too. Of course, Gallant uh, has been supporting him nonstop with that Kritzkrieg almost. So you know, it's, it's that combo really, right? That uh, the Gallant GDK combo that has just been yeah. great. And I gotta say. I do like Gallant's hat combo. He's got this white pickle haube, and he's got the the ear earbuds in there. Did they actually pause it? Please don't tell me they paused it. Maybe they're just changing the map. But anyway, this has, of course, been... Yeah, they're just changing the map. Changing the map. Well, this has been Fatmop uh, Salamancer. You have been watching, of course, youtube.com slash Fatmop or twitch.tv slash Fatmop, depending on where you are. Uh, and we'll be right back with that second game, hopefully on CP Obscure. Do hit the follow button, subscribe, rate, and comment, and do all those wonderful things that make me a happy guy, because I love it when people leave comments. Just my favorite thing. So, see you guys later, and Merry Christmas.